So today I'm filming a what I eat in a day. So I didn't talk earlier because I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing a vlog style or just like the food with a, either a voiceover or a music. But I asked on Instagram and about three fourths said they wanted a vlog style. So I'm making this a vlog style. I mean, it's more fun anyways. So I ate that carrot cake oatmeal for breakfast, which was at about nine o'clock. And then it is 11 o'clock now and I'm starting to get hungry. So I'm going to make toast. I don't know if this is considered a snack. I don't know if it's too big for a snack. I don't know if it's too small for a meal, but I'm just going to eat because I don't tend to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just eat meals or snacks when I'm hungry. Sometimes it's five meals a day. Sometimes it's three. Sometimes it's more than that. So it all just depends. And yeah, I'm going to make avocado toast and then with a lot of different toppings. So you'll see that when I make it. It's going to be avocado, purple radish, sunflower microgreens, which don't add that much flavor. They're kind of peppery, but they're really good for you. And then some red cabbage, but it looks purple. So purple cabbage, sauerkraut. Yeah, I'm going to eat this. Don't know if it's a snack. Don't know if it's in lunch part one, but I'll see you later. I think I'm going to have a smoothie bowl because that sounds really good so earlier i cut up um a honeydew to put on my smoothie bowl which i'm going to make right now i was planning on making it earlier but i ate quite a bit of the honeydew then so i actually waited like an hour and now i'm making it and i'm also going to show you how i make it with what blender because a lot of people have been asking me what blender i use and i don't have a vitamix that makes it like all in one go i will show you what blender i use and how i achieve the consistency that i like okay so i'm back outside now just because the lighting is so much better out here i think um uh, maybe it, i don't know to me it's a lot better i know it's kind of weird that i'm always outside filming i don't actually like, make my food outside normally but for filming it looks so much better to me so i use the Nutri Ninja, I guess. I don't know if there's different models of this. This is just the one that I've always had. So I use the individual blender cups because I don't make more than enough for one person, so I don't think you can need to use. Oh, it's just a butterfly. I always start off with frozen bananas. I feel like everyone that I see peels and like puts their own bananas in the freezer, but I have been able to find these huge bags of frozen bananas at smart and final and i don't know if you have that where you live but these are so convenient because it's a huge bag myself and my family go through these so quickly we always have them stocked up in our freezer because these are this much for now then i have this rainbow cauliflower from trader joe's i always add frozen cauliflower into my smoothies because you don't affect it doesn't affect the taste and you just get more veggies in i normally wouldn't use the rainbow one but we only have that. And then I'm adding a huge handful of frozen spinach. I'm now going to add the Amazing Grass Raw Reserve greens powder and just the original flavor. And then I have been adding maca powder to every single smoothie or smoothie bowl that I've made since I got it. It, I didn't actually love it that much at the beginning, but now I've added to everything. I just add like a teaspoon. So then I add enough that it's like this much liquid. Okay, so I always screw it in. Then I press the power button and I press high. I don't know how loud this is going to be, so I might mute this for the actual video. You can see it didn't blend up all the way. I take the lid off. This is what I have to do to make it. And I mix it around and I think that I need a little bit more liquid. So now I have this again. I hit it down so it goes to the bottom and I'm gonna blend it again. So now it's like a lot thicker and this is the consistency that I like it. Okay, so I always take the bowl and I put the banana ice cream into it and then I stick it in the freezer while I'm getting the toppings ready because if I don't, It'll definitely melt. Whenever I put them in a bowl, I always make sure that it goes to the top because if not, I feel like it makes a shadow in the bowl and it makes it a lot less like appealing in pictures. And if, I mean, if you, these coconut bowls especially, other bowls are definitely are bigger, but these coconut bowls are so small that if you don't fill it up all the way up to the top, I don't get how you can get full on that because it's like hardly anything to me. I need it to be full in order for me to feel full. 
If not, it's a really small portion. Okay, so I'm gonna go put this in the freezer and then I'll show you what I put for toppings. I wanna make it like a green smoothie bowl with tops with only green things. So I used a melon baller and I shaped the melon into spheres and did that with like different sizes. And then I also put it into like little cubes. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but that's definitely going to go on the smoothie bowl. Then I'm going to put on some of this yogurt but I'm going to put on some desiccated coconut on top. This dairy-free green tea mochi that I got from Trader Joe's. I always have super good like outcomes of what my food is going to look like in the end and it never turns out that way. It's always so much worse than expected, but it's probably gonna happen again today. I should start off with the mochi, then like build around that because it's a big thing. Or do I like cut it in half? That's pretty. Oh well, what's going on? Okay. Then maybe I'll put these around it. Oh, that's gonna mess it up. That's gonna mess it up. I hate doing these because once I put something on it, I don't like it messes it all up. This is hard. What do I do? Hmm. I'll take the risk. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. No. Is it? Am I done? Is this good enough? Oh, pumpkin seeds are green. See, this is me actually like making my smoothie bowls. Um, it's really hard because I try to do it fast before they melt. <gasps> no! It doesn't belong there. Now, I'm going to show you, like, my, ooh, photo setup. I'm going to put this in the freezer just for a couple minutes. This is the aftermath of making my smoothie bowls. I have stuff all over the ground, too. Okay, so I need to clean this up really quickly, and then I'm going to run outside and... And take the picture before it melts. Um, I'll show you like actually my photo setup and what I use. Nothing professional at all. Um, and I'm gonna show you my camera because a lot of people recently have been asking me what camera I use, so I'm gonna show you that too. Um, and I was gonna find a place to film, not film, take pictures. So right now, if I put this down, I won't do this because there is a shadow. Oh yeah, and by the way, it looks like in my pictures that I have like, um, a white countertop but in reality it's just like a tile that I got from Lowe's for like three dollars and I accidentally dropped it and I chipped I don't know if you can see I chipped all the corners of it because it was on a chair and I forgot that it was there and I picked up the chair and it completely fell and crashed but it still works so okay ah oh, the lighting is bad everywhere Okay, so I have the smoothie bowl. Um, it's really thick, but if it isn't this thick, I'm going to drink it with a straw. I can never eat a smoothie with a spoon unless it's thick. Like it's like I can't understand people that eat it like liquid with a spoon. I don't. I wanted to talk about what camera I use because I'm getting a lot of questions about that recently. And for photos on my Instagram, I use this camera. Um, it's. Fujifilm, which makes like the popular Polaroid cameras. Um, it says Fujifilm Fine Picks S1. I don't know what that means or anything. It doesn't work well for videos. Um, my first few videos were, no, my first one video or two. My first one or two videos were filmed with this camera. And it's not good for filming. It's good for photography, decently good. So I ended up switching to my phone for filming. It's what I'm filming on now. And I don't really know why. I don't know if it's the way that I'm transferring things. It looks really good on my phone screen, like the quality. Then once I upload it to YouTube, it's really bad. So if anyone knows why that is, could you please help me out? I use iMovie to edit, that's all I have right now. I'm getting a job in the summer, so I am going to be getting in the next few months a camera which will be good for photography and videography. So my videos will improve so much. I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait because all I'm filming it is my phone. Because my um, phone dies really quickly. So if I ever want to vlog like outside of my house, I really cannot do that. And because I, this is my dog too. Um, her name is Lacey. She is a 
lab and boxer mix. Okay, back to the topic. Um, I can't vlog outside of my house because if I need to use my phone for anything else, it'll die really quickly. So once I get this camera, I can do more videos and I'm so excited. I'm going to Hawaii this summer. I'm going to have my camera before then. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. I'm a couple hundred dollars away and I can't wait. The next few months from videos are gonna be getting so much better. My photography is gonna be getting so much better. And the thing I'm really sad about though is that um, Veg Fest LA is happening in a few weeks, which I'm going to be going to. Um, but I'm sad because I won't have the camera by then and I really was hoping to vlog that like on a good camera, but I won't be able to. And then I'm going to eat Drink Vegan, which is also in May, the end of May, and then the Veg Fest is the beginning of May. So I won't be able to vlog either of those, but next fall, which is still a while away, we're going to be going to the SoCal Veg Fest, and I will most definitely have my camera by then, so I can vlog that. I'm so excited. See, my phone's about to die right now. I have to quick, quicken this up. That's not a word. Quicken. No. I have to make this go faster, okay. Throughout my like research of cameras, I think I'm gonna get the Canon T7i. I've heard good things and bad things about it, but I think that the good things overweigh the bad things. And of course, everything that you're going to buy, like through reviews, there's going to be bad ones. Not everything's going to have like a five-star review. Um, so, um, this one's supposed to be good for photography and videography. I'm really excited. Going to eat this now. It's like 3.30, so I probably won't be eating until dinner. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I don't know if I'm going to be talking when I'm having my dinner, but I don't know. You'll end up seeing that. I also have a video with my brother coming out soon. I hope we haven't filmed it yet, but I know it's going to be, and I'm really excited. He's 11. I don't know if I'll be talking then or if I'm going to show my meal, but I'll definitely like end the video. But the thing is, I don't think same with film with my phone. I don't think I can film at night because the quality is so bad at night. That's why I can't, it's so bad in the dark. That's why I cannot wait to get a really good camera because then I can end it whenever I want and it'll work. I mean, obviously I have my lights on in my house at night, but like still it's not, my phone works best in natural lighting, not artificial lighting. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll see you at dinner. The thing is that two different videos which I really wanna film but I'm waiting until um, my camera's good. And I know that might sound weird, but I really want them to be good videos because I'm excited to film them. And one of those is like, a lot of people ask me how to go vegan in a non-vegan household as like a kid or a teenager, so I'm going to film that. And then also my vegan story. I'm excited to film that too, but I need to wait until, I don't need to wait. I want to wait until I have a good camera. So I just got out of the shower. I haven't brushed my hair yet or anything, so if it looks weird, that's why. I just wanted to end this video and say thank you so much for watching if you watched all the way to the end. I know I talked a lot more than normal in this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this because as you know, I'm gonna be getting a good camera soon, so my videos will get even better. So yeah, thank you for watching again. If you stay till the end, thank you. And I'll see you in my next video.